Today I fucked up by agreeing with my GF's doctor. To preface this my ex has had some knee issues for the past few weeks. She got some painkillers and they kinda helped so I thought nothing of it. Today she told me her doctor said there was a good chance her knee pain could be a result of her being overweight. We've both gained a decent amount of weight the past year due to horrible eating habits. So I suggested why not she try to work out. I've been going to the gym for a few months and lost some weight and I haven't had to deal with acid reflux for a while now. So I figured hey if I feel better after consistently working out maybe it'd help her too. She pretty much just yelled at me and said I was an asshole for calling her fat. That the doctor was ignoring her actual problem by telling her to just lose weight because she wasn't morbidly obese just overweight. Granted she isn't obese but I'm not a doctor so I simply suggested trying his advice to see if it'd work. I didn't expect her to blow up on me like that. She pretty much told me she didn't want to see me anymore because I didn't care about her health and I just wanted her to be hot. I'm not sad or anything but I'm pretty goddamn confused as to how she got all that. Too long did not read. GF broke up with me for agreeing with her doctor about losing weight. Edit. A lot of people have kindly given me advice on how to approach her so I think I ought to put this edit here to say that I'm not interested in getting back together or trying to reconcile. While yes, it's always going to be uncomfortable to have the weight issue pointed out, you aren't wrong. Extra weight can wreak havoc on our joints and as long as her doc didn't see a reason for her to rest her knee, then some movement might be good for her, it to help get her mobility back without pain. I have joint pains along with other, fun, fibromyalgia stuff. What helps? Movement and being a healthy weight are two things my doctors have always said. I don't like being in pain, and pills aren't always a good idea, so managing my weight and moving is a much better option. I mean if she broke up with you over that, instead of having an argument, cooling off and getting over it. I'd say you may have dodged a bullet mate. Too long did not read. Today your girlfriend fucked up by overreacting to reality. Sympathetic out of shape gal here she sounds like she's quite insecure about this topic, feels uncomfy in her body and has some serious feels about it. That said, nonsense that she took that out on you. It sounds like you ultimately are caring for her and you are coming from a good place, and you're not wrong. I've also lost a few LBS here and there recently and have found some ailments to have just gone away. I'm sorry you're going through this she seems sensitive about her weight and unwilling to address how she feels about herself, and taking her emotion out on you instead. That's lame. Take care, friend. I had pain in my lower back and legs for years, with multiple doctors telling me to just lose weight. It's not that I thought they were wrong, but it never felt quite right, and I finally had to demand that more tests be done. Turns out I have arthritis in my spine, pressing on my sciatic nerve, there isn't even much that can be done, but that wasn't the problem. I just wanted a doctor to be sure that they ruled other things out. That's probably what she's upset about. If she felt bad enough to go to a doctor and ask for meds, then it sounds like it's more than just being sore from extra weight. Even if she injured herself because of the extra weight, then the doctor should treat her injury, not only focus on her weight. I mean, dot you can care about her health and want her to be hot. An overweight lady here you did nothing wrong and she overreacted in your case. That being said, I get why she's mad at her doctor. Way too many times I went to a doctor with a problem that got blamed on weight and I was barely treated. In one case of repeated visits, I found out years later that it's something genetic that needs a regular treatment. Could have saved myself years of pain, if I picked a doctor that bothered looking past the extra weight. Doctors are people too. People generally tend to be lazy and seek an easy way out. Women have a really crappy time with doctors. A lot of doctors don't look for actual causes to issues, they just attribute whatever it is to the woman's weight. IRC, it's called, broken arm syndrome. The doctor sees an overweight woman with a broken arm, and only sees her weight even though her weight did not cause the broken arm. Happens in other populations as well. Today I fucked up by walking in on my, F22 girlfriend, 24, with another woman. I'm at my friend's house for the night. I'm a long-time lurker, but after today I just needed to share because I'm going crazy. She and I have been together for over four years and it's been nothing but a dream come true. We loved each other. We went out constantly, laid together watching movies, freak out whenever we waited in line for all the My Hero Academia movies. She was my life. I don't have a good relationship with my family. I'm estranged from my egg donor but this girl had welcomed me with open arms along with her family. 
All of the happiness ended when I came home from work early and just saw her and some random woman laying on the couch that we bought together. I fucking don't know. I panicked and just left to a friend's. She's been calling me for two hours now but I dk. My heart is broken. TLDR. The woman that has been there for me for four years cheated on me and I dk what to do. ETA. First off, wow. I went to sleep with like 20 comments and woke up to all of these encouraging ones. Thank you so much. I read through all the ones that were supportive, way too many three some comments but this is reddit so what was I expecting rolling on the floor laughing. I woke to about 50 missed calls from my gf, but my friend said I should wait on responding so we went out to eat breakfast with my friend and talked to her about the situation. Reading you guys comments in my post, I can understand why it comes off vague. I just opened the door and saw the two together on the couch, the other girl laying on top of my gf. I didn't get kicked out. I just left to my friends, no family because they aren't shit woman gesturing no light skin tone. I've always browsed reddit but never made an account to comment or post because some redditors seem so mean cold sweat smile. I didn't know where else to post. It seemed like I fucked up because I'm the one that opened that door and saw something that made me feel the worst I've ever felt. Anyway, rn it's 12.40pm. I'm in California, and I'm just out with my friend. I still haven't responded to my gf, but I will later on today. I'll keep you all posted periodically on here. ETA2. I am a woman lol. I thought putting an F22 is what I was supposed to do, but yeah, I'm a woman. ETA3. So I met up with my girlfriend back at our apt. As soon as I got there she apologized a lot and told me that it was a huge misunderstanding. Apparently the girl was a friend from her job that came over to help my girlfriend with meal prepping. The work friend runs an insta about it. The reason why they were on the couch to close was that the friend had taken a selfie of the two of them hanging out. My girlfriend explained that she was doing it to be friendly since her work friend came to help her but she was uncomfortable. She even showed me the picture they took and I laughed at the forced smile she had been making in the pic rolling on the floor laughing. To prove herself even more, she called up her work friend. By this point I was beginning to believe her because she hates talking on the phone. And the work friend apologized too if it came off inappropriate and said she would take down the picture if wanted. Which I didn cold sweat smile. My girlfriend and I then spent the whole afternoon talking. Her explaining to me that it was a mistake and that she'd rather die than hurt me in one of the worst ways possible. Overall I believe her. This was all just a big misunderstanding and I'm crazy loudly crying. This doesn't sound like your fuck up. As someone in a 40 year relationship my advice is not to confront her. That's already adversarial. Ask her to explain and listen. Don't just hear and react. Listen. Don't ask questions unless you really want the answers. A while back an ex started calling me to have lunch and catch up, grab a coffee, etc. Because I have no feelings for her, it seemed innocent to me. My wife thought otherwise. Yes I told her everything, I had lunch in a very public place with this girl. Then she showed up at our house when I was alone. Turns out my wife was right. X wanted to have an affair. Haven't seen or spoken to her since. If I hadn't told wife everything from the start, it could have gone very wrong even though I was innocent. But my wife listened to me and I listened to her. As someone who has experienced a long-term partner cheating, I always worry when the story goes in this direction. When it happened to me I didn't respect myself initially, tried to make it work when I shouldn't have, and came away with far more regrets than any other relationship. You seem like you're very aware of the situation and your worth, though. By all means hear her out, just make sure to respect yourself. If she did cheat, you deserve better. Best of luck. I think you should have an open conversation with her to understand what was going on. If your relationship was for, four years nothing but a dream, I would hope you feel comfortable enough to have an open conversation and address your fears. Watching a movie together is maybe something that makes you feel uncomfortable but maybe she didn't mean to overstep your boundaries that you have in terms of closeness with people that are not part of your relationship. Give her a chance to clarify and make a decision based on your conversation. Hiding from it won't prevent anything from happening if she has been spending time in an intimate way with someone else. I am sorry don't even know what to say. Not your fuck up. Hear what she has to say, four years together shouldn't just be thrown away. You weren't specific on the act you saw, but even assuming worst case scenario. Communication is the most important part of a relationship, even if it's to say goodbye. Like others have said before me, don't jump immediately to conclusions and hit the destruct button on your relationship just yet. 
Take the night and day at your friends to cool off and then get in touch with your girlfriend and have an open and honest conversation. She absolutely should have given you a heads up though, even if there wasn't anything sneaky going on. Not a fuck up. Laying on a couch with someone else is weird as hell because it's definitely intimate. I'd be pissed too. But, yeah you need to communicate and figure out your next step. 